Hey, I'm back. Let's go, boys. Hey, guys, Blizzard here. Welcome to another video. Back on Modern Warfare, and I'm back to talk about things that have happened. And if you can see by the title of this video, you probably have an idea of what I'm going to be talking about. Talking about some waifus, yeah. So apparently, if you know me, you know that I've watched anime in my lifetime. I have. But because quarantine has brought, well, has has separated us and left us alone in our houses, um, I've become, I've, I've let my inner weeb self come out of my weeb closet, and I've rewatched a lot of animes that I have already watched, and even watched a few new ones. Yo, yo, Blaze Zen watching anime? That's gotta be against the law. You can't wa you can't let this man watch anime, animus. With the with the with the women that talk to protagonists that are may or may not be so dense or so clueless at all. But yes, yes, it is it has happened. I've my inner weeb self has Finally revealed him revealed himself in a environment that is safe for him to come out of. And I don't know if you can already tell because I've bought anime weapons in Modern Warfare. Oh. And I've called them waifus. Well, I mean in the first place you should have known, because I've spent my precious money to get these scamos. <laughs> and even the, the the senpai truck. So I, it's there's there's been a few hints, but anyways, since since quarantine, I've isolated myself in my room, turned on my little Christmas lights that are in my room, and I've watched anime. So when I, so when I first decided that I'd watch anime in quarantine, I don't even know what to watch, dude. I forgot what I was even watching. I forgot what there was to watch. Would have already watched. Instead of actually even adventuring into the world of anime. But I couldn't really do that. I couldn't really jump into something new after not watching anime for so long. So I needed to rewatch something to get me familiar with these. Um, so I rewatched Data Live. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Your Kurumi is best girl. That's all I got to say about that anime. But then, after watching Data Live, I was like, alright, alright, I got a good grasp of anime. I'm, I'm, I've gotten, I'm starting to get back into it after watching the harem anime. Which is really good. Data Live, really good. Yes, five stars. Five, ten stars. Ten out of ten. Yes. So I went to a guy that rarely pops up into my uh, recommended on YouTube. And he was talking about um, was it spring animes that might pique your interest in watching? And um, one one caught my eye, and it was Somali in the Forest Spirit. And oh, oh man, this right here, this had me hooked. It 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 tugged on my heartstrings. It made me fear for the main character's life, which I mean, I guess that's a good thing, probably. First of all, if you're looking for an anime review channel, I am not that. Not at all. I'm just here commentating over live gameplay right here. About things I've watched and things I'm... Ow. But I finished Simoleon the Forest Spirit. That was the first new anime that I've watched since quarantine. And... Not gonna lie, I'm glad that I did. Did watch it at all. I, I put it off for a little bit. For like the last three episodes. And then I got back into it. And I was like, oh, oh, why did I, why did I ever let go of this for a little bit? That was a bad drop shot. I'm not good with drop shots, okay? I'm I'm better at jump shotting at the right time. Like that one. That was pretty good. But after that, I decided to rewatch Go No Kachi. Go Koi Koi Go No Katachi Katachi. Katachi. Yes, dude. Okay, first of all, don't don't come after me for not being able to say something or an anime's name. 
Listen, I'm not one of those weeps that are trying to learn Japanese for the greater good of my life. After that, I was listening to Lo-Fi one night, and it was like an hour of just some nice, calm Lo-Fi beats. It wasn't a live stream, but it was just something that was recommended to me. And, uh, it was just like, you know, a picture of some Animu Wen. I was like, oh, alright. And then people in the comments were like, yo! Yo, was that so and so from blah blah blah? And I was like, oh, I guess I'll check this anime out. And then right after seeing that lo-fi hour chill beats, whatever, um, I got recommended parts of the anime. I was like, huh, I guess I'll see just like a little bit, a little bit of this anime, what, ha what this anime has to offer. And I fell in love right then and there. And then I searched it up and began to binge the whole series. When I first discovered Data Life, I watched it. I watched the English dub on YouTube, and I should have watched it in, you know, Japanese. I know, I know, but uh, I didn't know any <laughs> anything about anime because, you know, <laughs> whatever. That was like years ago. But anyways, um, I found somebody that was uploading it on YouTube. All episodes, English subtitles. And I was like, alright, so I got up to episode, what was it, episode 9 of season 1, and I was like, huh, this is actually a really good anime, I really, I'm really liking this. And then I put it off for one day, and when I was like, alright, time to watch episode 10, um, it got removed, and the channel that was uploading it got removed, and there went all the episodes, the playlist I was watching from, gone. So I was like, ah, oh, fudge, dude, I don't know where to go from this now. And then I found a way to watch the whole series, and my life is kind of complete. That anime put me on a roller coaster. Like all good anime should, they should put their viewer in a roller coaster of so many emotions that may or may not disappoint them, make them sad, make them happy. But ooh, so many emotions ran through that, at, at, like episode after episode. And it was just, oh man, dude, it was it was really great. Also, I, I anime I'm referred to that was really great, and I watched during quarantine was Sakura Soi no Pet Nakanajo, which for anyone that doesn't know how the hell to spell that, it's the pet, oh, fuck it, the pet of Sakura Soi, and that was good. It has two seasons, and that's really good. The next anime I watched was right after Sakura Soi no Pet Nakana Joe, and it was SSSS Gridman. Oh boy. I put off SSS Gridman for so probably a year. I'd say probably a year. I put it off for so long, and when I was talking to one of my friends, Bobbert, um, he was like, or I mentioned SSSS Gridman to him. He was like, "You haven't watched it? Oh my god, you gotta watch it, dude! Come on, dude! You you loser, dude! You you stupid loser!" And I love it. I love it. Holy hell! Why did I put this goddamn anime on hold for so long? I've wasted so much of my life by not watching that anime so soon, or just sooner. In SSSS Gridman, Akane Shinjo is best girl in that one right there. She made me find best like girl overall right now but that's just kind of all I'm burning that's just how I am right now that she, she's she's on top of the tier list right there she is she is S tier she is God tier she <laughs> but she is at the top of the tier right there topping maybe all at this point maybe all in my whole entire weeb lifetime I've watched the whole Rampa series I've watched oh god this is gonna be a goddamn mouthful please you can you can rip me the shreds in the comments if you if you want to for not pronouncing certain anime names but I have no goddamn idea how to pronounce them say Jaku Miha no Bahumet I guess Assassination Classroom Data Life Koi no Katachi oh hell Oh shit, that's a miss. 
Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna set Faye here and die. Apparently, I'm not dead, so that's tough. Somoli in the forest spirit. Sucker, so I know pet. That kind of Joe. S S S S Gridman. And I'm pretty sure I've watched more, but I don't remember them, so I. That's that's really tough. I'm pretty sure all my weebness came out of when I saw. Uh, anime waifu skins in Modern Warfare. But I am very thankful that I spent my twenty dollars on like I know it was more than twenty, I'm just trying to make things sound better. I've spent about sixty dollars on Modern Warfare and all of them have come from just these waifu camos. That is gonna be it for this this video. Um this pro this might be shorter than the last one. I'm not sure. I'm still in the whole thing of editing that last one because that was a lot <laughs> there's, there's going to be a lot that's not even going to be included in that video twitch highlights I just wanted to say it was kind of lackluster v4 um, I didn't really have a lot of clips because I deleted them on accident just like how I deleted all my minecraft worlds I'm so sorry Haley <laughs> but yeah I'll see you guys in the next one see ya